way that the budget, the European Union's budget, uh, is, is financed, or sorry, is by way of a percentage of GDP for the different countries, and by way of what they call the own resources, which are uh, the VAT that the countries collect from their exports to out of the European Union, and uh, duties. There is no specification of this uh, specific tax. What is the discussion, and has been uh, on the table for a number of years, and was discussed when I was there, is, and I think Caroline referred to this, is that the intention of the European Union is that they are going to impose a new tax on us, which is the European Union tax through which they are going to finance themselves. So the, the, the way they finance themselves today will disappear. We will continue to pay the same taxes. These taxes will stay here, but instead we will pay an additional tax that will go directly to the European Union. And the risk of this is, firstly, that we, our fiscal treasure is going to increase, and secondly, that if this tax goes directly to them, they will give no account on how this tax is being spent. Because today, at least, the member countries, when they send the money, they request accounts to show how this money is being spent. But the day that the European Union uh, manages to get the independence to you know, uh, request or demand this tax directly from the European people, they will feel no obligation to explain to the member, to the governments of the member countries how this budget is being spent, which is appalling. So if there is no accountability today, there will be less accountability tomorrow. Thanks, Mark. Uh, there's a, I don't know what's here, but there's a blogger on politics.ie, I think it is a quote used from Thomas Jefferson, his name, if memory serves me right, is Illustro. And his quote is very pertinent to point on taxation. A government big enough to give you everything you want is strong enough to take everything you have. 